had apple for lunch and I This is inside the William Ford barn in Greenfield Village. It's rarely open to the public, but today we get to see. No, no problem. On for two weeks, off for two weeks. We bring out. Um, Doc and Howard, and they're going to be going to work. You can see them getting the line. They're going to come and step up here, sir. That uh, this is Doc and Howard coming up. They're a team of Percheron. And then if you ever see a big team of horses that are black or gray or white, they're usually the Percheron breed. We have this breed here because we have our Firestone farmer working farm in the 1880s. Now, Firestones use Percherons. That, uh, I guess these are guys are going on to a carriage right now, aren't they? That's Howard. That's they're going to be pulling our omnibuses here. The omnibuses are type of vehicles they would have used back in the 1800s. They were a city vehicle. Would have been used for transporting passengers, let's say, from a train station to a downtown hotel or just around the downtown area of the city. And then sometimes we have other vehicles. That, there's some vehicles out along the building there. After these horses leave, you can go out there. And we have some of our wedding carriages. That we have weddings here at the village. And we have some nice carriages there. We'll pick up the bride and groom. They're a little more decorative and still more, you know, a little smaller size for you know the bride and groom. A little more intimate, or I guess you might say. But not going to do the carriages. You can see Emily hooked them up, and we kind of keep about the same distance we were keeping it. Uh, Dr. Howard the, the Harbor carriage there. That's like an eight pass. Guys, got to reverse. They back up and step back. The only thing they might do is they sometimes spread out like that. They spread eagles. So sometimes, oh, they got they got a rope in between them where you might give a little push in. Emily, you're on the other side. You kind of step in there. Step in. Sometimes they spread out a little bit as they back up. They all have their own ways of doing things. Our horses back up really well where they stay together. This is Doc and Howard. Greenfield Village, William Ford Barn. The omnibus. This is uh, rarely open to the public, but behind the scenes here. So it's a special treat today to be here. You want to make sure they don't go out that way? <laughs> you want to make sure they don't go out that way? <laughs> oh. oh. They're going to do something up more. Okay. You might want to step back a little bit. My coworker is going to be giving uh, Doc and Howard here a little hosing down because it's kind of a hot day. So the water is going to be spray. So you might watch out. You might get a little spray coming over this way. That at least hot day, you kind of hose the horses off. It's kind of a little more comfortable. Is that something they really enjoy? Especially on hot days like this. <laughs> Is it get way too hot where you just don't run the horses? There has been. Last last year, if you remember, there was a week it was like 110 degrees all week. Uh, oh, yeah. We stopped running them. Here, there's like a raise in the rain. You see it. Today, they're the on a huge schedule. Well, these are called Kutcher on. Now, that's a good thing. She's a good horse.
You need to let him soak for a little bit. Uh, we're just waiting. Our other carriage driver is out back right now bringing up some more horses. So when she gets back, the carriage will go out. Oh, okay. This is behind the scenes at the William Ford Barn, Greenfield Village. Wait. Orville. <laughs> Orville and Wilbur getting a little bit of a bath here. Right in the middle, Savannah. Right in the middle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe how huge that 